It's about as close to the river as I can get. Just comes curving down. Goes way down there. Double extra hot and spicy pickle. Ooh. It's not a situation you want to get yourselves in, guys. Uh... Well, y'all, welcome back. I'm out doing a little bit of hiking and this trail is pretty sloppy out kind of reconning some spots for the future we are gonna camp here somewhere tonight but uh, we'll have to go back to the truck after the hike and find ourselves a campsite for now I'm just gonna see see where this takes me see what kind of views I can see Huge ravine right here. It's probably hard to see it on camera. Kind of came up this ridge over here and I'm coming around and it's kind of following the ridge. Grab my walking stick. Uh, yeah, you guys can probably see how sloppy this is. Boots are a little muddy. Well, I came from over there. There's a bench here at an intersection. That one looks like it follows a ridge also. But there's the Missouri River down there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. It's way off in the distance. I'm going to go down this one here and see where it keeps going. If it goes down to the river or how close we can get to it. This is kind of steep. Got to be careful. My boots are all boots are all sloppy. Well, I've made it kind of the top of this ridge. There's a huge drop off here. Uh, however well that translates to the camera, I don't know, but. It's about as close to the river as I can get. Just comes curving down. Goes way down there. Came from way over that ridge. And the sun's getting pretty low. So I'm gonna get turned around, I think. Head back up the head back up the mountain here. Head back up the hill. I haven't fallen yet, thankfully. I could keep going down, but I don't want to have to climb all the way back up this one. If I come out on the other side of this loop, I'll be way, way, way away from my truck. So, I was looking for a, there's supposed to be a, like a backpack campsite out here. I'm not finding it. It's not where it shows on maps, so I don't know. All right, back up the hill. All right. Well. I think we're gonna go that way. There's a few nice campsites down that direction. I'm gonna leave the stick. Somebody had left the stick there against the fence, so I'll leave it for the next person.
Well, y'all. Big shout out to my wife for buying me a vest for Valentine's Day. I never done had a vest like this before. Oh, don't go nowhere. All right. So this is one of those spots where you're you're not allowed to park on the grass anywhere. So so you've got to either camp in a, like an RV site, which I don't need power because it's like. Uh, 50 something degrees right now and the low tonight is only 40 uh, but the rest of these you just gotta get yourself one that's not muddy tonight and close to a fire pit but big downhill Good one, good enough. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, there's one back there, but I, I got a parkway up here. I think we'll do this one, it's not too muddy. I just want to nose my, turn my truck around. Yeah, I'm going to turn my truck around first. All right, we're parked move the truck forward a little bit more move the picnic table and I think it's time time to grab a cerveza and get the fire going Well, while that decides to get itself started, uh, let's crack a beer. So I got some Shiner, uh, and this is called Shiner Trail Ale. I thought it should be fitting since I was planning to uh, take a short hike this evening. Uh, but it says, it's from Shiner, Texas, Trail Mix Inspired Ale. Ale brewed with chocolate, nuts, dried fruit, and with natural flavors added. So we'll give this a shot. 6%. Oh, that's dark. Darker than I usually buy. It's good. It's good, but it's definitely dark. Uh, it's a beautiful camping spot. Just too bad I can't park closer to this thing. Well, the sun dropped incredibly quick. I didn't even get a shot of the sunset on camera with the sun going behind the trees. So I was screwed around with the fire, but uh, man, the wildlife out here, you can just hear it everywhere. Squirrels freaking out. There's like tracks all over, uh, raccoon tracks and there's deer tracks and stuff. And then there is a little stream down there. Why don't we wander down there before we completely lose our light? 
we'll see if we can see it from this other campsite that goes right up to the ridge there. Yeah, this one's sloppy. Uh, this one would have been a nice one to camp at, but wouldn't want to deal with that all night. But yeah, you can see a tiny little creek down there. Let's see if there's a better view from that campsite over there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I had no idea that was right there. Yeah, there it is. Sounds awesome. Yeah, you can see it down there. Oh, cheers, y'all. Let's get back up here to the truck. Well, sun has gone down, fire's died out. It's getting chilly out there. And uh, I set my thermometers out. It's currently 43 in here and 42 outside. Uh, I did grab my buddy heater, so I'm gonna warm it up in here. And uh, hang out for a little bit before we get dinner going. Well, like I said, I appreciate the vest, Lady Quady. It's very warm. It's fleece lined, y'all. It's pretty nice. Pretty stoked on that. I'm a little bit cheap. I probably would never buy that for myself. I was filming any of that uh, got my pajama pants on and um, sent a message to my wife on the inReach since I have no cell signal here uh, so we'll see if she responds I don't necessarily need her to um, but I don't need I won't need to run that heater all very long or anything, but it's nice to warm it up in here. It'll be plenty warm in here tonight. We'll watch a movie and then probably get some dinner going. All right, I'm gonna watch a, a movie that's on Amazon. It's called Brian and Charles from 2022. It's got good reviews on here and it says, lonely inventor Brian invents an artificially intelligent robot named Charles in this humorous, heartwarming story about friendship, family, uh, and love and letting go. You can see, dude, hey, uh, there's always a reflection. I need to like shut that off maybe, but dude's fighting like a dude in a, I don't know if that's the buddy he's making or what, but looks pretty good. Like I said, it's got good reviews.
66 in here. I think that's warm enough. It says it's 40 outside. Last time I looked at the weather, that's what the low was supposed to be. So we'll see if it gets any lower. I need to figure out if that thing has like a setting where you can see what the lowest temperature was in the last bit of time or something like that. Oh, it's very hot. Things went a bit topsy turvy in my life. I put my hand out, I struggled. Myself. Come on, Brian. It's time to give yourself a kick up the bottom. <laughs> Get busy. I just started making stuff. How far does the outside go? How far does the outside go? How far does the outside go? What are you on about? Tonight I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. It's got bacon in it. And I'm going to dump some uh, jalapeno tuna in there. We've got some flaming Hot Cheddar and Sour Cream Potato Chips to try with this. And we're also going to taste this Hot Mama Pickle uh, that one of y'all sent into the P.O. Box. We'll give this a whirl. It's one one sassy pickle it says and i do have a bit of hot sauce also that was sent in this is uh dadle pepper hot sauce mayhem original dadle done right gourmet hot sauce uh, so we're gonna give this a whirl we need to get this macaroni and cheese cooked up
cheese and bacon in there. And the jalapeno tuna. Ooh, with the peppers in there. swirl that's already got a kick with the jalapeno tuna uh, but we are definitely going to try it with some of the sauce i don't feel like this is going to be a super hot one i think this is going to be a tasty tasty one it's a darker one for sure it smells pretty spicy Not bad. Not bad at all. That's got a good flavor to it. But I gotta try these chips. Flaming hot cheddar and sour cream. And we're gonna give this pickle a whirl too. I kinda figured I'd just, uh, ooh there. Try it with this, like this. Ooh. I'm gonna break all my chip off. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's good. Chip, mac and cheese, sauce. Get a good amount of sauce on there. Yeah. Well, but I guess the the elephant in the room here is this pickle. I have never just bought a pickle like this and eaten that. Uh, one of you guys sent this in. Van Holten's Hot Mama Hot and Spicy Pickle. One sassy pickle. I'm going to drain this thing out the back window, I think, because I don't really need to drink pickle juice. I don't think I could. All right. <coughs> this might make me throw up. <coughs> pickle shots pickle shots ooh I'm not about that life that's for sure but I think the pickles going to taste all right Pickle shots are a little much. All right. Well, we'll definitely give this pickle a big old Pickle gobble. We'll gobble this pickle up a little bit. <laughs> I guess. It's a big pickle. That's a big old pickle, boy. Come on now.
we're gonna start on the other end that doesn't have a little nubbin on it. <laughs> All right, hot and spicy, hot mama pickle. Oh, I got pickle juice on my floor. It's good. It's not as spicy as I was expecting. Uh, I don't know about y'all people that just buy pickles and eat them like this. I mean, it's not bad and it's really, really juicy. There's no way I'm going to eat this whole thing. But I will do a shot of hot sauce on the pickle. Double extra hot and spicy pickle. Oh. No more of that. <laughs> I appreciate the pickle. <sighs> That's all I can handle of that. And we took a pickle shot. That's gonna come back to haunt me. Mac and cheese banging though. Bussin'. Bussin. Yeah, this sauce is good. That pickle shot. Ugh. Pickle Rick up in my gut. Ooh. This would have burritoed nicely. All the carbohydrates. All right, I've got dinner cleaned up. I'm gonna lay back and watch, uh, finish watching this movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the first movie I watched uh, was hilarious. The AI, like the the dude that made the robot, that thing. Great movie. I'm watching Diggy Roberts, Child Star, former Child Star or something. I've never seen this movie, which is surprising. Uh, and it's pretty funny, but I'll probably crash out when these are over, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. Oh. Morning. It's raining. Fifty degrees in here. I'm Forty-four degrees outside. Ugh. And it's just raining out there. And my, my windows are all fogged over. Oh boy! And uh, I did a little trick, and uh, I left my my tow to firewood out there in my chair. So my chair is soaking wet, which is cool. The firewood has a lid on it, but since I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain, I figured if I left my chair outside, it would rain. And it did. I do, and I have a rag for this that I can't. 
keep it here now. I am. I'm gonna say we're probably not gonna take a hike this morning. Which is kind of a bummer. I wanted to check more of those spots out, but I ain't trying to go sliding down a muddy hill. None of that sounds like a good idea. Big. Probably just gonna crack open some coffee. I, I bought iced coffee. Something different. I don't even remember what it is. Some Starbucks thing I've never seen. Uh, since I thought maybe I'd be going on a hike, some iced coffee would be good with that instead of hot coffee. So I've got this Starbucks iced espresso caramel macchiate. <laughs> Caramel macchiato. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this has got like enough coffee in it to actually be can have caffeine. Enough caffeine for it to matter or what, but. We're gonna give it a whirl. I've never had one of these before. I mean, it's not bad. It's not it's nothing great. It's no Duncan, but something different. But I mean, it's not bad. Probably nothing I'd ever buy again, personally. Doesn't taste bad at all, though. Although it doesn't taste good enough for me to care about it enough to purchase another one. Oh, it was a beautiful night last night. It's 8.30 in the morning and it's raining and I can't see the forecast or anything so I have no idea when this is supposed to stop or if it's going to go all day long or what. Alright, let's get out of here. much more difficult in the rain trying not to get everything soaking wet in here I knew if I left this thing out, we'd get some rain. Be fine. 
I may be in trouble. You know, it's probably hard to see, but uh, let me hop out. I started going down this road and nothing said it was dirt, and here we are. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up the hill. I know you guys can't tell on camera, but that's pretty steep there. Uh, I basically just came to a stop. I think I might try to back up a little ways, but I might be in trouble. Yeah, this stuff is so sloppy. I was driving down a gravel road, following my GPS, and it just took me onto this thing. There was no sign that said that it was a minimum maintenance road, uh, which I wouldn't have gone down in this weather. So I wouldn't do this on purpose. And now I'm stuck here, I think. It's three miles to the highway where I gotta turn around and hell, I don't know how I get out of here. I'd have to turn around and I probably only got like a mile to go backwards maybe. This is this is a no bueno situation, folks. No bueno. I don't know. I can't make it forward. Currently in four low. I've got stability track and all that stuff turned off. She's just spinning. I can't move forward. I think if I try to go backwards, it's gonna get even worse and I can't see. I don't wanna roll my window down. Sliding into the deep stuff. Oh, I don't want to call for help. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to keep trying, y'all. I think I'm just going to end up in this ditch. I have those traction boards, but that ain't... That ain't going to do nothing here. I think the only thing I can do try a little bit of shovel in here because uh, I've dug myself in and I don't think those traction boards I have are gonna do much here, but Not a situation you want to get yourselves in, guys. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I'm stuck out here all by my lonesome. Two, I think anybody out coming to try to get me is going to get stuck. And three, uh, you can't get tickets for this for screwing up the roads. Just a sloppy mess out here. Just can't get.
get enough momentum to get it out of that little rut that I was stuck in, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot now. Because I feel like if I could get back there and possibly turn around in that, I feel like if I can get to this little flat area here, there's a little hill up, and not too far over that hill, I'll be fine. Uh, so if I could just get it back to that flat and turn it around, I'll be all right. We'll start with the shoveling. If that doesn't work, we'll move on to the traction boards and see if those help. Just gonna leave the shovel out here. It's sloppy, my truck is so messed up now. Come on. spinning yeah I'm just I dug myself in damn it one more try with this faith in these to be honest with you guys it's the best we can do a little way 
this. Made it a couple of truck lengths back. We got stuck again. Maybe an all day adventure. update I'm still stuck here uh, it's like two hours later I've moved it back a little ways if you guys can see I was stuck probably like right in there and now I'm just stuck in my own ruts and I can't get out of them and I'm about to slide like into the ditch here even more um, I got a hold of Kelvin and Kelvin's brother is probably gonna, he's on his way, I believe. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this thing out or not. We're gonna see what we can do, but we're still working on it, folks. This is a no bueno situation. And uh, I don't know if even having a winch would have really, really helped me all that much. Right now, I guess if I had a winch, I could pull my nose over and get myself out of the ruts, which would be beneficial. And then maybe I could back it up. Uh, so maybe a winch is next on the list of things that we need to do, but I'll get back to you guys when Kelvin's brother gets here and we'll see what we can do. Oh man, I think he's going to get himself stuck too. I got it a little bit out of the ruts. Kind of shitty out here. <laughs> uh, Let me see what I can do here. Give me a minute. All right. It's quadra steer, boys. Ooh, he's going farther and farther in. just got it kind of stuck up out of the ruts I've been dicking around with my traction boards they're working all right but okay. uh, other than that stuff. Let, me, let me work a little path here He's just ripping it. I was trying to not tear the road up too much, but 
I think I might just give her the beans here quick. See if I can get it straightened out. I'm just afraid he's gonna go sliding off into the ditch too if he's not careful. He's in the, he's now in the field. <laughs> gonna keep going back problem is I can't see behind me so I've got my door like cracked and the tires are just flinging mud into my face so and inside my truck but it's like I almost feel like I should try to get it turned around at this point but I don't want to go off the road so he's pulling me backwards Almost made it. Not too shabby. <laughs> okay. Well. I think, I mean, at least from here, even if you hit the ditch, you're not. No. I mean, I can keep dragging you if you want. Uh, it's up to you. That, I can see where I'm going. Mm -hmm, yeah. Can I you? Can, no, I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Well, let's. I'll just take you down to the rock that way. Okay. You stay on the road and, and uh, yeah. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a mess, y'all. Such a mess. And I'm gonna go in the ditch, I think.
was interesting. <laughs> Holy hell. My truck is so jacked. After all of this. Look at that door. Oh my god. Alright guys. Well, I think we should be able to get it back to the road. You wanna get you wanna unhook it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, why don't you? Oh, this rock here. Yeah, this ain't too bad. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get up out of that ditch for a second there. Was, I was like, man. I kept feeling you, Paul. I wasn't sure if you're. Oh, you did drop in, didn't you? Yeah, I was down oh, in the, you rode the whole ditch. The whole ditch, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. The fucking. The, the quad steer on this thing, that once a back tire turned, my mirrors get covered. Oh, yeah. Well, it might so wide. That's the thing. Is like, as soon as I had it in reverse, my mirrors were covered. And then I'm opening the door and it just sprayed right? me in the face. All right. Well, here, I'm gonna give you some money for a car wash and shit for sure. Give it to her and her truck. She let you take her truck. She was like, uh, um, I am. Hey. Car wash money. Oh my God. You good? I don't need it. No, this thing away. is soaked. You gotta let me pay for the car wash Your and shit. the gas money. There you go. <laughs> We got you out. Yeah, yeah, filthy. Thank you me, so goes, much. She goes, have you seen his story? And I'm like, no. And she goes, I don't think his day went as planned. No, <laughs> definitely did not go as planned. And there's no sign right there that says minimum maintenance, right? Or am I tripping? Oh, no. God. Oh, no. No. And so it didn't look terrible. And then I got over the hill and I was like, well, fuck, there's no stopping right now. I just got to keep hammering. And then as soon as I got to where the hill started going up, it just slid into the Lost ditch it. and I was stuck. So... Needless to say, I won't come back here, and I'm probably not going to get the video out today that I was supposed to. But if you if you take this back around, yeah. and curve around, you'll go past. Yeah. And you can, I don't. There's a couple car washes in town, or yeah, I'll, I um, might just hit, hit our local wash or whatever, see if some of it falls off on the highway. There you go. There you but go. I'm gonna spend more time cleaning the inside out at this point. Yeah. It's it's wrecked. It'll be all right. Yeah. It's what it's for. Well. Yeah. Appreciate it, Kyle. Not a problem. Thank you, guys. Have a, uh, have a better day. Yeah, yeah. I just, I only got like 100 feet to go. Save my number. I will, I will. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves out of this mess quick. It's just filthy in here. Just filthy. All right. I'm trying to wipe some of this junk out of here. The truck is just wrecked. Look at that. Look at that. Well, it's all over my face. It's all over my truck. I can't see anything out my windows. It's all over the inside. My tent might be screwed up at this point. Yeah. That's gonna take a little bit of effort to clean in my vents but I couldn't see behind me without opening my window so yeah okay let's go find a car wash well made it to a car wash let's see how much this is gonna cost Could be worse, honestly.
about as clean as it's gonna get for now. Like $30 later, here we are. Uh, it's not too shabby. I sprayed the inside of the door out. Uh, probably wasn't the smartest choice, but I'm gonna wipe that down quick. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out here, y'all. Uh, truck is running. I've got it relatively cleaned up. I'm sure the bottom of it doesn't look great right now, but uh, I can work on it a little bit more at home, but I needed to get the windows cleaned off so I could at least see where I was going. Um, the worst part is... My dumbass left those traction boards and my shovel sitting on the side of the road down there. Uh, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to go back and get those for a while. I'm gonna have to wait for that road to dry up and then we'll see if we can go get them. Uh, but somebody might pick them up, who knows. Um, the traction boards did help, but I did break them. And I didn't, I don't think I got a clip of that at all, but uh, driving over one of them. I don't know if I burned out on it, but the whole end of one of them broke. So uh, they would need to be replaced anyways, but it is kind of a bummer that I left my shovel down there. But we are out and I am headed home. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I probably got crap all over my face. I don't know. Anyways, y'all don't drive down a muddy road uh, by yourself. <laughs> Moral of the story today, I guess. Anyways, y'all. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.